Hey everybody, this is Oki Twister 66. I'm in the garage today. I bought something the other day, it was on sale, and I think it's pretty cool. I just want to share it with you guys and uh, see what you think. So stick around and you can see what's inside the box. Hey, thanks for sticking around. Not long ago, me and Mrs. T66, we went down to Fort Thunder Harley-Davidson in Moore, Oklahoma. Uh, they were having their 15th anniversary birthday bash, and they had some special events going on. While we were there, we, uh, we witnessed and uh, watched the, uh, the Wall of Death. It was a pretty cool experience. Uh, I remember seeing it a lot of times at the state fair when I was a kid. But anyway, so we went inside afterwards and started taking a look around at some of the, the stuff they had inside, some of the bikes, some of the clothes and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I ran across the anniversary helmet. I'd seen this helmet online. I was like, man, that's really cool. I'd like to check it out. So I checked it out and uh, man, it, it, was, it was just as cool as I thought it was gonna be. So anyway, a couple days later, oh, I did not buy the helmet while I was there. Um, I wanted to think about it because I already, I've got a brand new helmet. So anyway, a couple days later, uh, I was like, man, I really want to get that helmet uh, because I looked and it was on sale online, but it was not on sale in the store. So I went down there and I just asked him straight out. I said, hey, look, this is on sale on the website. Oh, by the way, it was sold out in my size on the website. That's why I went down, down to the dealership. Uh, so I said, hey, this is on sale on the website. Will you guys price match that? Can I get it for the same price here? Just took a couple of minutes. They went and checked and they said, yeah, cool, no problem. So I bought the helmet. So here's what's inside the box. Um, now I've already looked at it, but uh, anyway, so it's, it's got some foam padding in there. Comes in a nice... Harley Davidson branded bag. There we go. So yeah, cool bag. Uh, so here it is. It is the modular 120th anniversary Harley Davidson um, helmet. It's got some really cool graphics, as you can see. So let's talk a little bit about this. This helmet is manufactured by HJC. It's made out of a lightweight polycarbonate uh, material. It weighs about three pounds, 12 ounces. It's not the lightest helmet, but it's still relatively light. Seems perfectly fine for me. It meets both DOT and ECE safety standards. It's got two vents. It's got a chin vent. It's also got one on the top with exhaust out the back. Easy open and shut on these. The face shield has a UV protection um, it's also kind of an anti-fog, and I can tell you in my previous Harley-Davidson helmet that had anti-fog, it, it, it really was. The only thing that really fogged was my glasses. Uh, this particular, oh, it's an intermediate oval. This particular helmet is a size medium, which is the size that I wear in all other helmets, and so I will say that, at least for me, it's true to size. It's got what they call a rapid-fire shield uh, removal system, which is uh, very cool. It's very simple, uh, you, you bring the shield all the way up. It's got a simple lever, lever here, you can just pull down with your fingernail, and then this just pops right off. And the same thing on the other side. So if you need to change shields quickly, no tools, anything, it's really quick and really, really simple. I, I really like it. Inside, it's got uh, a moisture wicking, and these are removable pads, you can wash them. Uh, it also has this optional uh, chin, chin guard here thingy for uh, help with noise reduction with the wind. Uh, one of the other features that I really like about it, it's got this drop down dark shield and the lever is right here on the side. 
And you can see it's a little bit oversized in my opinion, but I like that very much. Uh, at first, when I had it in my previous Harley helmet, you know, I didn't really care for it much at first, but the more I used it, I was like, man, this is really, really great. I need to, I need to keep using that. My Arai helmet does not have it. It's because of the Snell certification. And one other thing regarding the pads, it's got slits, so it makes uh, it easy to wear your sunglasses or eyeglasses. This helmet is also equipped to have uh, a Bluetooth speakers. Uh, it's got little indentations uh, in the ear area uh, that you can put the speakers. However, they look a little bit shallow. I have a Senna system, and I'm not sure if that will fit. But on the other hand, I'm really not sure if... Um, if I want to be changing my comm system and my camera and my Bluetooth, you know, switching it back and forth between helmets. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with that yet. And it also, uh, this helmet has a, a D ring chin strap. I know a lot of people prefer or would like to use uh, the quick release. You know, it really doesn't make any difference to me. That's not a deal breaker on this helmet. Uh, but what I can say is I have read some things. I don't know how much truth is there is to them, but that the, uh, the D-ring is actually a little bit safer, less likely to come undone in an accident uh, compared to one of the quick-released ones. Now, like I said, it's modular, um, which means that it comes up. It's got a really very uh, easy to, uh, to operate, one-handed little button here, and it comes right up. and it closes uh, securely, snugly. Um, I think it's gonna be very easy to operate on the bike. So here's what it looks like on the bike. I think the colors are, are really, really good. So call me corny, whatever you want. Um, I think the matching helmet is just gonna be a cool thing. So there it is. Hit me up in the comments. Tell me what you think. Hey, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I got several more doodads to do with this bike, so uh, appreciate you sticking around with me. Until next time, have fun, ride safe, two wheels down.